Mother and six babies. Here's with all the babies. Oh, it's a baby sidewinder. That is a tiny little baby sidewinder. Every time there's a discussion on baby rattlesnakes or rattlesnake lookalikes, there's always this like discussion on how can I tell if it's a baby rattlesnake or not? And there's always like these crazy little tips and tricks or myths or just like in misinformation thrown around on comments and things that just aren't true and they aren't helpful and they could result in a bite or a harmless snake being killed just because of the, the wrong, wrong information. So I have a snake with me now out here. I'm out here in the desert today that actually breaks the mold on a lot of this, these crappy tips. So a couple common myths are one, baby rattlesnakes aren't born with rattles. Two, all venomous snakes have vertical pupils. If it has a vertical pupil like a cat eye, then it's venomous. Ooh, scary. All venomous snakes have a triangular heads. If it has a triangle head, it must be a rattlesnake. Get rid of it. Yeah, it's venomous. Take a look at this. So this snake is a Sonoran lyre snake. Uh, not seen by very many people. We rarely get calls for them, but it breaks all the rules, okay? So this is a harmless snake. It's got a very, very mild venom that's only strong enough to really kill lizards. It may, if it were to bite you, maybe get like a mosquito bite type a reaction to it, but it's totally harmless, right? There are other snakes that are, that kind of fit in this category, but look at this head. Triangular head. Take a look at that. Not a rattlesnake, right? See those eyes? Vertical pupils, cat eyes, look at that. <laughs> Not a rattlesnake. Do you see this? We'll talk about this in a little bit, but see how pointed and tapered that tail is? Baby rattlesnakes will never have that. Baby rattlesnakes are born with a pre-button like this. Although it doesn't make sound yet, there's always going to be a tiny little button there. So every time it sheds its skin, it gets another button and it gets another button. And what makes a sound is when the two segments kind of rattle against each other. It's like that uh, hollow raspy sound, but they will never ever have a super tapered tail like that. Also, look at those nice little diamonds. People could very well see, oh my goodness, look, it has, it's a diamond back. It's got those nice little diamonds and it's got a triangular head and, and vertical pupil pupils and it's rattling its tail and striking. These guys actually rattle their tail like crazy when they're defensive and they can get real defensive and real uh, strikey. This one's doing pretty good right now. So the Sonoran Liar Snake is a really good example of why you shouldn't follow those. And there are venomous snakes that do have round pupils like coral snakes. All right, well, I'm gonna let this guy go. So that wasn't helpful, Jeff. Well, you just pretty much disarmed me of anything that's gonna make me feel uh, comfortable with any snake. And now I don't like any of them because I can't tell. <laughs> I get it. So the point is do not fixate on one or two little elements when you're trying to identify snakes. The best way to identify different snakes is just like look at a bunch of pictures or uh, actually take a look and and have some practice in identifying snakes and don't just make it so it's a reactionary thing on the first snake you see. So if you look at a bunch of different videos or pictures of what baby rattlesnakes actually look like, if you see anything else, you're gonna kind of tell the difference. The overall gestalt of, of it all is gonna be different. You're like, here's a little snake. It's uh, robust, it's got rough, rougher scales, it's got the triangular head, it's got a rattle. There's a lot of different things you're gonna look at it and you're like, yeah, that's a rattlesnake. It's sort of like if you were to compare like a golden retriever versus like a golden Labrador retriever, they're both mid-sized, friendly, sociable, uh, golden color dogs, but people who know dogs know the difference right away because they've seen it a lot, right? So if you really want to identify snakes, go in and do some research and give yourself some exposure. That way, when you encounter a snake, you're gonna feel a lot better about it because you're gonna know exactly what it is. So if you've gone through and you, you've read books, field guides, or, or just online resources, you probably would have seen a Sonoran liar snake like the one I just had and been able to go, Right, not a baby rattlesnake, I know what that is. Do some legitimate research and you're gonna feel a lot better about snakes in general, not just identifying them, how likely bites are, what to do uh, if you see a snake in your yard. You're gonna arm yourself with confidence and that's the main thing here. So as you watch this episode where uh, the crew is relocating baby rattlesnakes, take a look at 
the way that they move around, the, the way that they look, the way that they act, and, and the way that we're handling them, the situations that they're in, and you're really going to be able to pick apart the difference between what those look like and maybe a Sonoran Liar Snake or a Desert Night Snake or a Gopher Snake, which are also common here in Arizona. Take a look. <laughs> Hey everyone, headed to Kwan Buckeye. A uh, lady has a rattlesnake coiled up by the front door. She backs up to a lot of desert. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thanks for waiting uh, around. So I do have a question Sure. For you. So since this is a baby, does yeah. that mean that the mama is not too far away? No, so this, this snake was born in August or September of last year. So okay. it's like five or six months at this point. Uh -huh. So they kind of dispersed right after that. So it's been on its own. Mommy probably had babies out there though, but <laughs> it doesn't mean you're gonna get a whole bunch right now. Okay. Now if you found a baby in August or September, that means maybe brother or sister could be close. But right now you're good. I can look around too, make yeah, sure no one else. Does, does this <laughs> service come with like a spray or something? There is no such thing, yeah. Oh. We can we can get you a free quilt for fencing. That's how you keep them out of the back. For the front, really, you don't got like very much vegetation and you do got that. So there's not much you can do out here. Keeping things trimmed so you can see the base so there's not a lot of shade out here will help. Okay. But we do get them in the in the entryways a lot just because it is shady. Yeah, that's what Yeah, you you Google like snake away and all that, but it just doesn't work. So okay. don't don't waste your money on that. <laughs> He's tiny. He's yeah. so small. I know that's why I said I can Oh, it's a baby sidewinder. That's so cool. Let me get a different tool because this is just overkill. <laughs> that is a tiny little baby sidewinder. Holy crap. <laughs> Yeah, this is probably like one of the rarest rattlesnakes that we get on calls. Um, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, we don't get a lot of sidewinders. So cute. Holy crap. <laughs> See, you bite the tongue. You can come look at him. Holy crap, he's tiny. <laughs> and how? And how dangerous is that a snake like that? If you got bit, you would need antivenom, yeah, because it is a rattlesnake. Okay. Yeah. Look at this little sidewinder! My goodness! I went looking for sidewinders this last weekend and I got skunked. I didn't find any, so always nice to get one at work. <laughs> Look how tiny! My goodness. Look at that little snake. I am so surprised that he saw that by the door. Look at the horns! So cool! My goodness! Tiny little baby rattle. He was rattling at me earlier and I... You are absolutely adorable. Green. There you go, little one. Keeping, a, keeping its eye on me. Doesn't want to look away. Oh, I'm not going to hurt you. I would never. Alright, see you little bud. Getting ready for the morning and my neighbor gave me a text and said, Hey, I got a mother diamondback here with a bunch of babies. So I'm gonna go over there and, and take care of that. And he normally just moves them himself to the edge of the property, which is awesome. That's what everybody should be doing. But a mother with babies is a little bit more complicated. God, what do I got back there? I don't wanna kill any of the babies. One, two, three, four, five, six at least. So I'm gonna grab her first and then work on the babies. This is my fancy uh, small snake catcher. I'm gonna say that's the rattling right now. Yeah, that's the mom. This is a big one. People are surprised by how big they are. Did she have them here? Yeah, she had them right here. Like, recently. I mean, last couple days. Yeah. She might have been hiding and then they'd start kind of coming out and basking. Sometimes there's an adventurous one that is kind of like further away than the others two, so I'll look around. With all the babies. Mother and six babies. I'll have to show you this. It's amazing how many babies will fit in something like that. That little 
Uh, that's it's not a very large mother, but she managed to fit six babies in there. Okay, let's get a closer look. There's mother with her babies, and I'm just gonna leave them right there. So she doesn't stress out too much. Headed to Okolona Mesa, a lady has a snake that is trying to get inside, she said. She said it's half inside and half out. Not honestly sure what that means. Uh, maybe she has a gap in her door and it's trying to sneak in, but it's too big. Uh, she doesn't know if it's a rattlesnake or not, but I am rushing there to go get it before it gets inside. So well, let's go. Climbing up towards the top of the... Wait, that's it right there? That's it. What yes, the that's heck? What I'm terrified of. They don't normally climb like that. <laughs> that's, I can tell why you'd be afraid. Well, like, at first, uh, my phone. at first I walked by and it was sitting on my door handle. Right inside? Yeah, it was, um... Oh my gosh! It's a coach whip. It's called a coach whip. It's harmless. Wow, look at that little coach whip. Hilarious. Let me get a picture of this weirdo. <laughs> He's so cute. All right, so I got this little coach whip here. Probably one of the smallest coach whips I've ever... <gasps> Don't bite me. <laughs> Probably one of the smallest coach whips I've ever caught. Put him down in here. See, little worm. <laughs> Well, that was an interesting call. I didn't understand, I guess, what she was saying. I didn't realize it was all the way inside her house. Okay, it's been just a little bit, and I checked on these animals this morning, and uh, they've all shed their skin, which means that they can be released. And here's our little dudes, ready to go back to the wild. These snakes were all found at my neighbor's house. So we want to put them within their estimated home range, right? Uh, in that same drainage system that's there, which can be easily accessed on the other side of my own property. So this is for all the all the uh, people that show up in our comments. How about if I bring all the rattlers to your house, let them go to your yard, see how you feel? I'm gonna go release a bunch of rattlesnakes onto my property and I feel just fine about it because I know about rattlesnakes and I know what they do and uh, how to keep our family safe. You know, all the stuff that we talk about all the time. It's not that hard. And there are rattlesnakes here already, so we're not adding anything new. This is the kind of place that, that this kind of snake would give birth at naturally. Well, she's not stoked about all this. She's a little one. We actually had a lot of people that were like, those aren't babies, they're too big. Uh, not true. These are babies. This is the mother. They are all captured together. That's how we know this. These are newborns. They shed their skin for the first time right here. That was not graceful. I'm sorry, Mama. You want to crawl over here, though, so I can take your babies out of here? Now, I think the most graceful way to do this is... Just, well, come on. You got to back up. This is kind of... Dump them out. There we go. That is a pile of fun right there. Okay, this rock is not good because it's going to get really hot later. Now, the reason I'm being real picky here and I don't want them to go under this rock is this rock is going to get hot later. The sun's going to touch it later. It's going to get too hot. They don't know that, so they're going to hide under it. And if it's not suitable for them, a lot of times they'll just sit under there and not try to escape, and that can kill. A snake, unfortunately. But um, really cool. I'll probably see him again, you know, at some point. But there are a lot of rattlesnakes here, so. Hey everyone, I do a call in Casa Grande. A uh, lady has a rattlesnake by her door. She said it's kind of small, and uh, out that way there is Sidewinder. So I'm kind of hoping for a Sidewinder, but we could either get a Western Dimeback or a Mojave over there as well. So we shall see. Hello. Yeah. Ooh, that's a baby. Yeah. That's a baby, baby. 
I feel like we've like seen a snake before, but nothing like that. Look, Dad. It's a little baby Mojave. <laughs> Come look at him. He can't get out. Oh, he's so fresh. Cute. Oh. He's so tiny. Is that what it was? Yeah. It's a baby Mojave rattlesnake. Uh-uh, that's what it is right there. No brothers and sisters nearby. Just this baby Mojave rattlesnake. Look at it. It's adorable. You're so tiny. There you go. All right. Make sure we got you good. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's way back there. Okay. Slid down in the hole. All right, see you little bud. <laughs> Fresh new life, I love it. All right, I'll see you guys later, bye.